Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 2012 MLG Winter Championships. We're here in Columbus, Ohio. We're about to jump into game number two between Thorzane and Sase. But first, let's look at the, let's look at the key moment from the last game as we're going to jump into it uh, on the screen really quickly here. There you see it. We see Thorzane thinking about going for a push here, realizes his opponent has three bases, has a bunch of Marines and Marauders there, some medevacs. He's like, okay, I can take Stalker, Zealots, and Immortals. That's fine. There's some sisters there. Oh, well. Sase, meanwhile, making two Archons behind this, to trying to bait Thorzane forward. And there the two Archons are coming forward. Huge engagement there. Thorzane caught completely off guard. Beautiful force fields going down from Sase, dismantling the army from Thorzane, taking control of the game, and uh, eventually taking the game. So Sase is up 1-0. And, um, you know, we're going to jump into game two pretty quickly here as I ask if the players are ready. But uh, just great play from Sase there. Yeah, I, that was actually something we didn't point on uh, with that earlier in that call there where the Archons were being formed. So Sase kind of brought them back there away from that fourth base that was currently building. And then once the Archons were finished, he moved on forward, pressed his advantage, got Thorzane back against the wall, forced wheeled it off beautifully, Beautiful. utilized map terrain. And that was the turning point there for Sase. Once he defended that attack, his three base economy uh, rolled on through. Yeah, perfect timing on those Archons as we're getting into game number two. And the map is going to be Shakura's Plateau in the bottom left hand location. We have the Blue Terran player Thorzane from Team Mouse Esports, his opponent in the bottom right hand location, currently up on Thorzane 1 0. It is the Protoss player from Quantic in the red, Sase. And Sase is 1 3 in the group. Thorzane is 1 and 1. Thorzane still has a lot of games left to play today, and Sase has some work to do to get back in contention in this group. Now, he can't win it, unfortunately, for him, because Marine King Prime yes. is 4 0. But every game matters, because the better you do in full play, the higher you're going to be placed in the championship loser's bracket. Yeah, one thing we can talk about early on, actually, from Sase is he likes to pair up his probes on the closer mineral patches. And that, what I've seen from him when he's been streaming, actually, when you do that, you get a slight advantage. You oh can yeah. really notice it in mirror matchups, uh, the PvP. You get a slight, slightly higher mineral income, uh, and that helps you out in the longer run, especially in PvP, where you can potentially get just a little bit faster of a gateway. It's not going to be absolutely critical and a huge thing, but it's just a little thing that Sase does with his play, uh, matching up those probes there. So, nice little tip for you guys out there if you want to know something. Just a, if you got the APMs to do it. Why not? Yeah, we're not saying if you're a bronze player, actually try to match <laughs> up your cup. No there's, no, there's more things you need to worry no. about. Yes, probably. of course. Uh, but yeah, definitely as a diamond or masters players, try to get those mat those uh, workers matched on the close mineral. It does, it does boost up your economy yeah. a little bit, um, and it's noticeable too. But let's talk about the map choice from Thorzane. It is Shakura's Plateau. Um, a Terran player selecting Shakura's Plateau. There's a stat out there somewhere. 40% win rate TVP. So I'm not surprised at all that Thorzane is, uh, is picking this map. And there's a number of reasons for that. One the airspace. Uh, it's actually, uh, there's actually a ridiculous amount of airspace here, which means obviously drops are going to be very good. However, that being said, Sase loves his war prism, so that could work in the Sase's mm, favor as very well. Good point. I'm wondering if Thorzane yeah. considered that when picking this map. Also, natural is really easy to take. We know Thorzane loves the macro games. Um, you know, again, if we think about that last game, if Thorzane had known about the, the quick double expand from Sase, that game would have changed dramatically. So Thorzane may have a mentality of like, okay, I'm the better player. I can beat this guy. I just made one little small mistake. Let's go for a macro game again. But that being said, a quick gas from Thorzane. Yeah, Thorzane switching it up here and actually adding a very fast reactor onto that barracks. I'm, I can't read quite, le quite what this is indicative of quite yet. He might go into a flaw. Well, if he's I getting gas this early, I was going to say factory relatively fast here, and then going for second gas. A 1-1-1 one, one, one potentially? Maybe. Um, it, it's interesting. It, it, to a certain extent, it depends what Sase does, and we see already Sase getting two gases. So if Sase went for a crazy fast expand, yes. it would almost be guaranteed that Thorzane would be go, going for some, some, some sort of like Hellion play to try to abuse the fact that Sase is not going to have a lot of attacking units on the field. That being said, though, Sase only saturating two of these gases as my voice is like completely shot. I apologize for that. Um, but with Sase probably still going to get a relatively fast expansion. There it goes down. Um, but we'll have to see what Thorzane does from here. I mean, two gases. This definitely looks like Banshee play. Uh, perhaps Cloak. Uh, it depends how fast he wants to go into tank production and siege mode. Um, but but, but uh, Thorzane definitely playing for heavy one base play. And it's funny because I was just saying, oh, he wants a macro game. He's probably going to go for a macro game. No. Yeah. Um, going for the Banshee play. What? You say it like macro game, right? So this this could work in favor of Thorzane, where he chose this map purposely to make sure Sase to bait, let's say bait Sase to throw down 
that early nexus, right? Where Sase is like, well, you're playing on a macro map, you chose this one. You like macro games, I know you. You're you know, a very familiar player to me, so I'm going to throw down a, a somewhat a somewhat blind one, uh, one gate nexus. Um, and Thorzane, I believe, is probably just going to take advantage of this by going quickly up into starport. He's going to be making a tech lab, it looks like, on that starport as well. Three gates, or two gates on the way, making a total of three, switch it up. So yes, it is in fact going to be a very fast 1-1-1 one, one, one here with a hefty, hefty marine count getting such an early reactor on that barracks. Doubling your marine count and just dumping mostly that gas income uh, into Banshees. No cloak yet quite on the way. We'll probably won't see that uh, with, with Siege Tank production being uh, resumed right now. Or Sase going to be poking up the natural expansion of Thorzane. He's going to see that and be like, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to engage that. Uh, Thorze not going to pursue Sase across because Sase could have forced him at the top of the ramp. But Sase has to be careful here. No stalkers in this competition. Okay, there says a stalker goes forward. It <laughs> makes me look like a fool. Adding two stalkers in as well. So Sase realizes the ideal composition he needs. He's going to try to do some aggression here. And a Banshee's coming out on the field. But oh my god, can he force him? Yes, he does. Sase force fields the ramp. Marines caught completely off guard. Sase doing so much damage oh here. A tank goodness. coming out. Can't do much though. Doesn't have siege mode. Where's the Banshee on the way to Sase's base? And Sase knows something up. Robotics facility on the way for Sase. Wow. Cutting the, the Marine numbers in more than half, even three quarters there, is huge for Sase. Sase is going to continue to press this advantage as siege tanks in the back, laying waste to the Zealots at the front. I'm wondering how much that Banshee is doing actually in the main base here. It doesn't look like too much. as two more Stalkers being warped in there, deterring the Banshee away for the time being. But Sase is able to take down uh, Supply Depot. SCVs having to be pulled off the line for the time being. Yeah. Man. Sase is just, he's playing this so well. Huge moves. Um, you know, he's got 50 to 46 in the Supply. He has an expansion. His opponent doesn't. Income Tash shows 30 to 25 in favor of Thorzane. But again, uh, the fact that, uh, that that Sase does have his natural expansion already done, already down, Thorzane still just making Banshees still on one base. And the, the reason why it's so big for him to neutralize that Marine count is in a 1-1-1 one, one, one push that Thorzane was planning on doing, Marines are going to be the main DPS oh, dealers. Yeah. So if you're able to nullify the Marine count or reduce it significantly, that's going to help you defend against this push. It, it, even more than exponentially. I don't even know what's bigger than exponentially, uh -huh. but it's it, it just helps you so, so, Infinitely, so, so much. Perhaps. And Sase is looking in a fantastic position, sitting off a nice two-base economy now. He's able to secure that down. He's going to be taking advantage of it as well. And Thorzine's looking pretty desperate. He's adding two more racks. Yeah. There's no way, the only transition for him is to basically all go in. all in. Yeah, that's, that's what he's doing here. Um, definitely no ideas of any sort of expansion. Sase going to scout this out with the Observer. And the question is, what does Sase do to react to this? There's a couple things you can do. One, you see all these barracks, you see a reactor, your opponent's going to have a lot of marines. So yep. fast Colossus, not a terrible idea. You see the tanks, okay, let's get a couple of mortals out. That might be a good idea. Also, what's really important here, delaying the push. Time is on Sase's side right now. He's on two bases, his opponent isn't. His opponent is all in on one base. The more he can delay this push from Thorzane, the, the, oh. the better amount of resources he can get, mm -hmm. the more units he can get on the field, the higher uh, the probability of being able to defend this incoming all-in oh from goodness. Thorzane. Just fantastic positioning right now by Sase. He's positioned himself just outside the natural expansion. Oh. He's going to move forward here, block again, like I said, just delaying time right now. Let his macro continue on. He knows he has the vastly superior economy. He has Stalker's position here to deter the Banshees that come in here. Sase playing brilliantly right now, preparing for everything that Thorzane's throwing at him. He is playing so well. Thorzane wondering, okay, is it safe to leave my ramp? I'm just going to siege up here. And then again, every time these tanks siege, it just takes even longer to get to his yeah. opponent's base, which is what he wants to do here. He wants to kill Sase, but again, I, I just got to emphasize the fact time is on Sase's side. The more, the longer this game goes along, the better situation Sase is in. Yeah, good observer placement too. If Thorzane did choose to come around the side, trying to hide through that, uh, trying to come through around the, not so much in the middle of the map, and actually again, moving forward here, trying to target fire and just force the tanks to siege again. Because of course, when tanks siege, they are immobile. They cannot move. He wants to slow, slow down the, this push here while he's able to get a few more zealots out. SCVs are on the way now for Thorzane. Oh. It's do or die in this game. And uh, oh man, Sase is looking in a fantastic position. He's currently up 1-0. And it looks like Sase is ready. He's got his units in position. Here we go. And he's moving for it. Zealous in the front here. Guardian shield goes up. Tanks are a little bit late on the siege. Mortals target firing down the tanks. The marine count is still very, very high here. 
But with those siege tanks going down, so many zealots are left for Sase. And only Marines and one siege tank is left. It's looking very desperate now for Thorzane as more and more zealots. The Marines are going down slowly one by one. Oh, there's the, the bad G. There's the GG from Mal's Thorzane. And Sase takes that 2 0. Oh, moving Thorzane now down to 1 and 2 in the wow. Group A. Wow, fantastic play from Sase. Handled that incredibly well. You know, 1 1 1 is very good on Shakuras. So you can yeah. get great tank positioning leading up to your opponent's natural expansion. Your opponent has to engage in a choke to engage 1 1 1. Sase realizing this fact, engaged before Thorzen even starts with most of his unit production for his 1 yes. 1. Able to get that beautiful force field on the bottom of the ramp. Unreal. Ramp, isolating <laughs> so many of those Marines, making Thorzen that much weaker. And then, of course, Delaying the push. Time was on his side. The longer this takes, the better off I am. And then when Thorzen is in his side of the map, too many Protoss players, they huddle in their natural expansion, you know? They're, they're yeah. like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. But Sase spreading his units out, uh. taking advantage of all that open space on his side of the map. When Thorzen moved forward, Sase came from all the, the top side everywhere, surrounded, and just destroyed Thorzen. Yeah. And he's going to take him out 2 0. And that puts Sase at 2 and 3. And, uh, and Thorzane uh, at uh, one, one and, and two, two now. Yeah. I Like you said, like, some lesser players may, and by lesser players I mean like Diamond or even Platinum, may have just huddled up into that natural expansion because you know he's coming to attack you there, right? Yeah. But Sase are they, realizing they, they this. Figure, yeah. they, they figure, it's obviously safer. you have a defender's advantage, they figure the high ground be the defender's advantage. Yes. But that's negated by the fact that it's a choke. Exactly. Right the exactly the point I was going to make there. So uh, we're going to hit to a quick commercial break here. And we're going to have a looks like MC versus Crazy Movement coming up at 6.15 Eastern time. Stay tuned for that, guys. I am Silence. Joining me is Axel. We'll be right back. Yeah. 